Unajua kuna wengine hapa wanaweza wakatembea makanisani wanaomba kuombewa. Wakiona hali ya mgonjwa imekuwa ngumu, hao unaona wanafiata mkia wanaenda kwa mganga wa kienyeji. Umekwisha. Kwisha kabisa. Hata kama uko hapa unafanya hayo mambo, hakuna mganga wa kienyeji mwenye uwezo. Hakuna shetani anayefitini ufalme wa shetani mwenzie. Yaani ule ni ufalme wa giza na huku ni ufalme wa nuru. Wewe uliye kwenye nuru hauwezi kwenda kwa mganga wa kienyeji kupata nuru. Kwa hiyo akaenda kwa huyu mama usiku amebadilisha nguo za kifalme. Amekwisha kabisa rudia huyu mchambuzi anasema sasa hapa ndio kuna kiini cha wewe kuelewa sasa. The Lord answered him not neither by dreams nor by urim nor by prophets. Hiyo tulishaona. Kwa nini? The Lord never turned away soul that come to him in sincerity and humility. Mungu hata siku moja hata kama una dhambi nyekundu namna gani hawezi kukufukuza ikiwa umekuja kwa unyenyekevu na kwa kumaanisha. Kwa nini sasa Mungu ali acha kujibu maombi ya, dau, ya, ya Sauli kwenye nini kwenye ndoto kwa nini kwa sababu amemfukuza Daudi haya amemfukuza ameacha kumsikiliza Samuel sikia hii hapa the king huyo ni Saul had by his own act forfeited the benefit of all the method of incurring of god yani kuna wakati unaingia kwenye changamoto sasa Mungu ayupo ashaondoka kwa sababu zile njia za kumtafuta Mungu umeshazivuruga katika maisha yako katika maisha unayoishi uenda ni maisha ya yasiyompendeza Mungu maisha ya uchafu maisha ambayo hayaendi sawa na Mungu lakini katika maisha hayo uenda Mungu ameelekeza vitu ambavyo uvifanyi anasema Mungu Hayuko ta, ya, mungu hakumtupa mbali ila huyu mfalme aliondoa zile methodi za mawasiliano ana alikataa mashauri ya ndio hicho nilianza nacho ukielewa vizuri namba moja kwa nini maisha yako unamwomba Mungu ajibu alikataa mashauri ya nabii Samuel the prophet namba mbili he had exiled David the chosen of god alimfukuza daudi mteule wa mungu namba tatu, he had slain the priest of the lord aliwachinja makuani wa mungu unaenda wapi sasa hata wewe mwenyewe unaweza ukaona umeshakata mawasiliano yote and la kusema could he expect it to be answered by god when he had cut off the channels of communication that heaven had ordained Angeweza vipi wakati channel zote za mawasiliano wamekata nenda nyumbani kao upya angalia hivi kweli channel ziko sawa unganisha waya upya lakini namba moja usilete mgogoro na kiongozi wa dini bwana Yesu asifiwe hata Daudi alipompata Sauli hakuthubutu kumgusa hawachezewi wapa kwa mafuta wa nani he had sinned away the spirit of grace and could he be answered by dreams angewezaje kujibiwa kwa ndoto and revelation from the lord na mao na, na, na mafunuo kutoka kwa Mungu never Sauli hakurudi kwa Mungu kwa unyenyekevu na toba alikuwa anatafuta nini it was not a pardon of sin and reconciliation with god that he sought alikuwa hatafuti kupatanishwa na Mungu but deliverance from his force. Kuna wakati unasahau kwamba unatakiwa kwanza upatane na Mungu afu unahangaika kutafuta kutoka katika tatizo. Uwezi ukatoka katika tatizo. Mi akija mtu ofisini kwangu mimi hapa nikimfanya counseling, pastoral counseling, ninaanza kutafuta chanzo cha tatizo. Hawezi niombe. Kazi yangu ikae vizuri. Kwa nini Mungu ajibu? Kaa chini tuongee ili tujue chanzo chanzo ni nini wenda ukakishughulikia. Uwezi ukaniambia pasta naomba niombe. Ah ah, maombi sio panado. Utarudi huko tena kwenye kesi.
tukae chini tutafute tatizo kwa sababu wewe unatafuta hii anayosema deliverance from the falls na sio kutafuta pardon for sins and reconciliation with God unatakiwa upatane na Mungu there could be no return but by the way of penitence and contrition but the proud monarch in his anguish and despair determined to seek help from other souls akashindwa kubaki na Mungu akatafuta njia nyingine ya kwenda kwa mchawi alivyoenda kwa mchawi anasema by his own uh, by, by his own stubbornness and rebellion he had cut himself off from god rebellion na stubbornness ugumu na uas umeacha kumsikiliza nabii ugumu na uas unamfukuza mpaka mafuta wa bwana ugumu na uas umewaua makuhani pamoja na kwamba naomba unisikilize huu ndio wito wangu wa siku ya leo pamoja na kwamba alikuwa amefanya hayo yote bado kulikuwa kuna nafasi ya toba pamoja na kwamba maovu yake yali yali yalinyamazisha sauti ya Mungu hajibu kwa ndoto lakini Mungu alikuwa anamsubiri bado kulikuwa kuna nafasi lakini but when in his peril he turned from God to obtain light from from a confederate of satan he had cut the last tie that bound him to his maker yan alipofikia hatua ya kusema naenda kwa mganga wa kienyeji alikata kamba ya mwisho iliyokuwa imemuunganisha nani na ndio maana ujumbe kwa mganga wa kienyeji anamwambia wewe na watoto wako kesho mtakufa na kweli kesho yake alikufa na watoto wake na hilo ndo somo langu katika siku ya leo. 